And we will today also give time for one-on-one -on -one interviews. And so we will need to limit our questions from the floor. Some days the past week, in a global comparison using a seven-day rolling average, Sweden had the highest mortality rate per capita in this stage of the epidemic. These numbers are of course of concern, but not mainly due to the comparison itself, but because the tragedy each death represents. Sweden did not quickly get high mortality rates as some other countries did, nor will we get quickly radically low numbers. Our strategy is not based on a week-by-week week measurement of mortality. It is based on a long-term perspective on how we can save lives, protect our healthcare system, and make sure our society and the population will go as unharmed as possible through this global pandemic. A graph from the University of Oxford, uh, which indicates the, the degree of shutdown in the... Transmission is slowing down. The treatment of COVID-19 patients in intensive care is decreasing significantly and the rising death toll curve has been flattened. Lesson learned and global comparisons will be key in order to be better prepared for future pandemics. It is far too early to measure the final result by taking a snapshot in the middle of the race. This is not a sprint, it's a marathon.